Patient recovery is much better when it can take place in the comfort of their homes, as opposed to going to a clinic and getting exposed to other sick patients. The medical industry is adapting to this reality by developing medical devices that are compact, connected, and intelligent to allow patients to remain autonomous and free to move while improving their recovery chances. Let's look at the example of IASO, which is a wearable drug injection device named after the Greek goddess of healing. Being placed on the forearm of the patient, IASO manages the quantity and rate at which a drug is delivered, as programmed by the doctor. It allows the patient to move freely and monitor in real time the quantity of drug administered autonomously. IASO is designed using SOLIDWORKS. Based on feedbacks from key stakeholders, some critical improvements were identified. 3D Experience Works is aimed at SOLIDWORKS customers transforming the product innovation process. This is achieved through cloud-based, designer-centric, end-to-end solutions on the collaborative environment of the 3D Experience platform. This innovative environment brings all the disciplines and stakeholders together from design and engineering, simulation, manufacturing, and governance to marketing and sales. The new requirements concern the structural integrity and will include an improved resistance to a drop test, an ease of opening, and a secured closing of the device. The injection molding process is analyzed to ensure manufacturability of top and bottom plastic covers, improve flow efficiency of peristaltic pump delivering the drug, and positioning of the antenna in compliance with regulation for human radiation exposure. A drop test over a height of 1.5 meters is simulated to ensure shock resistance and structural integrity of the device. This was done by taking advantage of the Structural Mechanics Engineer role, which gives access to the industry-leading abacus solver, advanced explicit dynamics, comprehensive material models, robust contact modeling, and a comprehensive meshing suite for shells, beams, and solids. Additionally, the drug motion inside the flexible container can also be modeled with the SPH solver. Drop test simulation on initial design showed that the covers would separate after hitting the ground. To prevent this, small clips were added to one cover and corresponding grooves were added on the opposite side in SOLIDWORKS. The closing and opening forces were simulated to determine proper sizing of the clips. The initial cover design was tested to identify potential problems with plastic injection molding. The plastic injection engineer role enables us to validate and optimize injection molded plastic part designs earlier in the development stage. Leveraging guided user interfaces, an extensive plastic material library, and automated meshing capabilities, a plastic part designer can assess manufacturability and identify defects easily. The cover rim thickness was too thin, avoiding molten plastic to fill the cavity. This resulted in short shots during plastic injection. The rim thickness was increased in SOLIDWORKS to solve this problem. The fiber orientation obtained from injection molding simulation was mapped to structural simulation to analyze snap fit performance and to update the drop test. The drug is delivered by a peristaltic pump inside the IASO. The fluid dynamic engineer role is leveraged here to do a design exploration of the pump unit. With step-by-step -step guidance for non-simulation expert and advanced capabilities such as moving mesh, complex fluid structural interaction can be easily simulated without the need of two-way coupling with structural solver. Parameters like the tube diameter, the tube compression, the number of rollers, and the rotational speed were explored to identify the best configuration for target flow efficiency within design constraints. The IASO is a connected device that provides information on its status, the amount of drug delivered, its charge level, and many other pieces of information. The device relies on a Bluetooth antenna to transmit this information to an app running on a smartphone. Based on industry-leading CST technology, the Electromagnetics Engineer role provides high-performance 3D electromagnetic simulation for designing, analyzing, and optimizing electromagnetic components and systems on the 3D Experience cloud. Antenna selection and placement are two important processes in the development of the IASO. The antenna should have a good far field intensity coverage to make sure there are no blind spots when the device communicates with the smartphone. 
The targeted operation frequency and the proper intensity can be simulated easily, and the antenna parameters can be rapidly iterated upon to meet the performance requirements. We need a drug delivery device that is not only smart, but also safe. For this, we ensure that the radiation from the antenna within the device is under the limits specified by regulatory bodies like the FCC. The designers get access to a large library of physiology models and solvers to quickly assess human exposure scenarios. An absorber was added in SOLIDWORKS to reduce human exposure to electromagnetic radiation. The electromagnetic engineer role enables designers to explore antenna properties, signal intensity and directivity, specific absorption rates on the skin, and shielding for achieving targeted performance of the device while meeting all compliance requirements. Using 3D Experience Works, the IASO was improved and all new requirements were met, which included enhanced structural integrity verified by a drop test, manufacturability of the plastic part, avoiding short shots and taking into account fiber orientation of plastic material, exploration of the pump performance to achieve target rate of drug delivery, and improved antenna position with the IASO to ensure connectivity and meeting safety regulations for human exposure to electromagnetic radiations. Connected to SOLIDWORKS, the cloud-based 3D Experience Works simulation portfolio offers a fully integrated environment, enabling faster time to market, innovation of a broader product portfolio, reduced prototyping and compliance costs, and removal of hardware barriers.